Hey guys, CK Gaming here, and today we'll be working on how to build Baskin and Robbins in your world. You can use my design any way you'd like, all I ask is you give me credit for it. Now before we get started, you're going to need to pay attention to the following list of materials that are required. To start things off, you're going to want to grab your quartz pillar and make a 3x3 box. From the center point, you want to, you're going to want to install one quartz block followed by two blue concrete, followed by eight quartz block. You're going to want to bump in one, install one black, skip two spaces, install another black, come out, you're going to want to install four quartz block, followed by the three by three quartz pillar. Turn the corner. From that corner, you're going to want to go 12 quartz block over from the center of that pillar. You're going to want to bump in, install one black, skip two spaces, install another black, come out one, you're going to want to install two white. From that corner white block, you're going to want to include that white and then count out 10. Bump in, install nine, nine quartz block. At the end of the quartz block, you want to switch to quartz pillar and install your 3x3 box. From that center, center point of the quartz pillar, you're going, to, you're going to want to install 19 quartz block. At the end of that quartz block, you have the option of, of installing the 3x3 quartz pillar. I just went from the center point of, of the previous quartz uh, pillar. Uh, that we first started out with and just ran my quartz block all the way down. Obviously we are going to have to delete a couple of them, but you'll see as soon as we get to that. So from that corner block, you just delete that corner and then just install your 3x3 quartz pillar as you did on the, the rest of the corners. So from that center point where the quartz block is, you're going to want to count over 9 on the tenth block, you're going to want to you're going to want to install white in front of it, and then you can just pretty much delete all that that quartz block that you installed the white in front of. So you're going to want to go over ten white block, and then everything else will remain the same. So now that we've got that done, we're going to focus on the the corner the corner posts. So from the first corner that we originally started out with, we're going to count out, including the bottom one, 26 blocks overall. So it's got to be 26 blocks from the bottom all the way up to the top. Now you're just going to want to fill all that in all the way around the, uh, the perimeter, that 3x3 three three block box that we've got all quartz pillar yeah you don't really have to uh, worry about the center part of it as long as you got one block up there it's just more or less so we have something to uh, toss a block on top of you know not a big deal if you include it or if you don't include it it's going to be covered regardless. Now that you have that all completed, just make sure you go through the uh, the other three corners and, and do the same same thing. So once you have that done, we're going to actually do the uh, the top part of the of the corner posts. So you can take your stairs, place your upside down stairs all the way around the perimeter of the top so that be on your 26 block put your your upside down stairs and then on top of that you're going to want to do your magenta concrete all the way around on top of the magenta concrete you're going to want to switch your quartz slab put quartz slab all the way on the top make sure you repeat this for all four corners so obviously you got your first one done, so just do the, uh, the, the last three corners. Now we have that done, we're going to go to the center port portions of it. So you're going to want to go to your white concrete. This is pretty identical to what we just did on the corners. You're going to want to count up 26 blocks. 
So once you've complete this white white wall here, the opposite side is going to be identical to it. So we're not going to waste too much time going through each side, especially if it's identical. You just want to fill all that into that 26 mark. And when we get up to the roof, you'll, you'll see that we'll have a little bit more work to do with it, but not as much as you would expect. Just, uh, just adding a couple blocks here and there just to beef it up and uh, make it look like it's meant to be. So now you're going to want to come on the inside of the wall, install one line or two lines across the top and then one right down the side seam there. Now that you have that, switch to your quartz, quartz stairs, install them upside down, go all the way around the perimeter. Now you're going to want to switch to your blue concrete and fill the whole thing in with blue concrete. After you're going to switch to your quartz slab and do the same thing as you did to the corner blocks. Once you have this all done, remember just repeat, repeat the process on the opposite side. It's going to be identical. Alright, so now that we have that, we're going to start working on the back walls since they're all pretty much straight walls. No window details or anything really involved with it. Just easier just to knock those out fast just to get them out of the way. So you're going to go up 12 blocks including the, the first one that we did the layout with. So it's 12 overall from the bottom all the way up to the top. Fill that in. And while we're there, we're just going to define the other the other two walls as well, just to get the right and same same exact layout going. So now that you have that, you're going to want to go back to where you first started, switch to blue concrete, install two layers of blue concrete on top of the 12 that you just previously installed. And just repeat the process for those two walls that we, we kind of defined already. Once you're done with that, go back to that starting point of that wall where we installed the blue, and we're going to go up nine quartz block. Fill it all in. Find the wall, the other opposite walls again, like we did previously. Just so you know where where everything starts, stops, and ends. Now we're going to switch to quartz slab and install some upside down stairs. On top of that, we're going to go to blue concrete, install a layer of blue concrete, too wide, with the quartz slab on top of that. 
Now you just repeat that process to the other two walls like we did before. Now that we have that, we're going to hop right into uh, starting the roof part on the first half of the building. So take out your black concrete, uh, one, one layer right below the blue perimeter, we're going to install our black concrete for the roof. I sped up through this just because I, I know how tedious and boring it is to watch uh, a bunch of black block being installed and there's really nothing special about it obviously it, it's self-explanatory um, it's a roof so just install it the way the way I showed you and you should be pretty pretty good to go like, I don't think you'll have to worry too much alright now that we're finishing up with that you're gonna wanna switch to white concrete and we're going to finish in these uh these extensions on the sides just to give it a little bit more detail bump it out a little bit and make it look like it connects to the roof now we're ready for some window walls and the front end so starting with the uh, left hand side right hand side sorry we're going to start some windows so you're going to want to go in bump it in and you're going to want to go from from the bottom all the way to the top the top of the window should be eight overall and the windows will be three spaces in between so you're going to want to go over four blocks have your upright and you'll have three windows in between Again, go one, two, three, four, and then do your upright. So here I, I carried it all the way to the door. Now we'll just split it on the fourth one. You put your upright, and you should have three spaces in between perfectly. All right, now with the door, you're going to want to carry it all the way up to the top. From the ground level, you're going to want to count up three blocks on the third block. That's where you're going to want to go over. You're going to want to carry it over from the third block, so that way you've got enough room for your door. Now you want to bump in, or bump outwards, and install a row of your block quartz and go up four rows. So we're on our second. You have two more left. Third row. fourth row. Now you're going to want to go back to your blue block, install two rows of blue. Go back to your quartz block and install nine rows up to your roof line. So you're going to have one more course to go. You'll notice it, it perfectly lines up with the, the black roof. So now you're going to want to go to your stairs, upside down stairs, on that ninth block. Switch to your blue concrete, two wide. Quartz slab, place on top of blue concrete. So there's the first side. Now we're going to just fill in, fill in the uh, the windows with your black stained glass if you want. That's completely up to you. If you want to wait until the end of the end of the tutorial, you can do that as well. All you'd have to do is just fast forward it to the the next section where we we take on the left hand side of the the building.
Now that the right hand side is done, we're going to focus on the left hand side. So switch to your black concrete and we'll start with the window. Again, we're going to bump in one overall from the bottom up to the top of the window. It should be eight, eight high. There's only going to be one window here, so you'll go over the four on four. You'll go up one as the upright and just uh, finish off that window. From there, you can fill it in. You can wait till the end of the tutorial to do it. It's completely up to you. I figure just get it done right now, get it out of the way. Now we can uh, switch to your quartz block. We're going to go over all the way to the end of the wall. We're going to go all up. And then we're going to have a 2x2 two two window, the second course in from the white. So just count up your 12 right there. You can stop at 12. Add your two blue. Now we're going to go one more course of uh, block quartz up, so that way we can define this window. So again, you're going to bump in one for your, your window. And at the overall 8, and Including the two quarts, it's got to be eight overall, and you're just going to install a two by a two by, I think five window or whatever it is, whatever it ends up being. Now we're just going to fill fill the rest of it in with quartz block up to the twelve point or the twelve block mark. window and add three more courses. Switch to your blue concrete, install two layers. Back to your quartz block, install nine. And just fill it all the way in up until the, the top of the ninth block. Once, that, once that's completed, you're going to want to switch back to your stairs, install some upside down stairs all the way across the top, switch to blue concrete, install two layers of blue, or not two layers, but two wide blue concrete, just like the opposite side. Go back to slabs, install slabs on top of the blue concrete, two wide. Now that we're up to this point, we're going to carry on with the roof again. Just finish the roof. Get it out of the way. Obviously, I'm going to fast forward it, uh, you know, just to get it done a little faster. It's tedious. You're going to want to add one line on the quartz pillar, and that'll be the end of your roof line. Now that we got that, switch to your quartz block. Install one, one row in front of the black concrete. Switch to quartz stairs. Install upside down stairs all the way across the top. Switch to blue concrete, install too wide. Switch to quartz slab and install too wide. Now the roof is completely defined. There's nothing left up there to do. 
So pretty much left is just the, the front main wall and then just uh, some few details and we're just about wrapped up. So now with the, the front wall, we'll do our, do our windows. So bump it in. You're going to want to install it the same elevation as the opposite windows, so 8 overall. Remember all the windows are pretty much have three spaces in between them, so if you carry it over to that door, it should be exactly three spaces. Carry it over the top of the door, connect down to the bottom, count up three, install two at the third to find your door and just fill the rest in with your black up to the blue concrete and you should have two windows spaced in between the door and the blue concrete switch your glass pane optional again you can wait till after or you can do it now and just fill in fill in your windows with your plant your pane Now that we have that, we can switch to our quartz block, and we're going to install four, four layers of quartz block above the window. And stop right at the edge of that window. Install the last three layers. Now switch to your blue concrete, install two layers on top of the white white quartz block and finish it off with your nine well eight layers now because we installed that first layer so it's going to be eight layers of quartz block to run right up into the roof line One more layer. Now you're going to want to stay with your quartz block, go to the opposite side and go up all the way up to the roof line with one layer of quartz and just fill in down to the uh, the blue line. You don't want to fill that in with uh, quartz because you want to carry up, carry up the blue concrete to, to that blue concrete line. Just define it. Now that's the face wall. So now all we have left really is just details. Um, as you can see, I, I did like the uh, the layout of where the, the lettering needs to go. So you're going to want to count over five, and that's where your first letter is going to start. So here you're going you're gonna to have your B. So you're going to want to do one, one row of blue, of blue concrete followed by magenta for the balance of the B. And then the R is going to be completely opposite. So you're going to want to do one row of magenta concrete and the balance of it will be blue. One space in between letters. Complete the black concrete. As I said, it was just for layout purposes. Now you can go with your um, window awning, I guess you can call it. And it's just going to be three staggered blocks, all magenta. Now that the front side's done, we can switch to our uh, right side. Do the same thing. So from the pillar, you're going to want to count over four on the fifth one. That's where we're going to start our B. Again, it's going to be one row of blue up, so it's five, five up, followed by magenta. Delete the black concrete, 
magenta all the way up five followed by blue yeah don't make two B's like I did <laughs> just uh, try to stick with the R same thing make your make your little window awning or whatever you want to call it doesn't matter what you want to call it it's uh, just pretty much is there to help protect the windows from rain runoff but we don't have to worry about that too much in Minecraft now we can finish the finish the build with the left hand side and here we're gonna install the 31 which I'm assuming is 31 flavors so you're gonna on the six one you're gonna start the three and it's all gonna be magenta the three is gonna actually gonna be extended up one more beyond the or one one down beyond the the one so if you just follow what I'm doing right now you should be you should be all set as far as it as far as installing it's really easy just do exactly what I'm doing and this is pretty much wraps it up guys and all that's left to do now I mean you, you can take out whatever door you decide to use obviously I finish off the uh, the window but but yeah you can pick and choose whatever door you would like to use I like to use the one with the that has the window in it because it makes it look more like a commercial door obviously we don't have too much of a variety to choose from that that makes it look good so that's what I use I want to say it's a spruce door maybe I'm wrong but you can obviously use whatever you'd like well guys if you guys enjoyed my tutorial and would like to see more in the future please be sure to, to hit that like button subscribe leave comments you know I'd like to know what you guys would like to see next you know as far as building um, I do listen to suggestions. I'm open to just about anything. There really is no negative comment that you can do because I will take that as positive feedback, um, something that will help me advance and, and maybe help you guys out more. But thanks, guys. Appreciate it.